right, okay. Um, welcome to Hatchby Hector. So today we're doing our drone flight. Um, this is our 3DR solo. We've got a Parrot Sequoia based on the base of it. And um, last time when we'd done our flight, we'd got a fixed gimbal based on the bottom of it, which meant it just took out vibration. However, we were getting angles of photographs which weren't great for us to actually do analysis. So today's job was to actually put a gimbal, just like the one Kit's actually using to do the video recording, on the base of this to actually allow us to get an Adia image just basically facing vertically down, even if the weather's actually quite bad. So we've got everything all working. We've got the Sequoia set up, the sunshine sensor and everything is working perfectly. And we've got a preset flight. So the drone is actually going to fly over our Hector, exactly the same as it did last time. And we're gonna capture some images for our NDVI. Um, it's really important to actually find out what's happening to our field after we've actually done the fertilizer run, which we did on Thursday night. So I think it's time we actually got ready and actually did our flight. So stand back. So the area is all clear. We've got our signs based up. So all clear, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a case of uh, grass in the rotor. <laughs> Do you want to try it? Okay, so the drone is now flying autonomously off to do its waypoint plan of the field uh, to capture a string of images which we'll then stitch together later in the lab to turn into our complete NDVI of the field. You can see it should have found its first waypoint now and you can see it in the back of the shot and then it will go up and down the field You can see it just flashing across in front of the clouds. Okay, so if you actually focus on the screen here, you can actually see where the drone's actually flying from its waypoints. Oh, it's a bit shiny. We've got waypoint. too much sun. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. You can just about see the waypoint plan on the screen of the, the tablet and the drone flying up and down the set waypoints, capturing images as it goes. And there it is up above us. You can hear it making a bit of a racket as it battles with the wind and off it shoots again so it's going to be a matter of a couple of minutes to cover the whole of our hectare and to be honest it will cover a lot more than that as well because we'll cover the uh the fields and the rugby pitches that adjoin as well the entire field is about 2.6 hectares if we actually went from the outer barrier
I've lost it. Okay. So That's our flight, so she's coming straight back to her launch position. And now. Now we are just coming down to land. Successful flight. Yeah. I think we need to have this area in mode a bit after that. <laughs> so yeah. once we've uh, stitched the images together into our new NDVIs, we'll be uploading them onto Twitter and Facebook and all the rest Send of the places um, for everyone to have a look at. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Thanks for sharing, liking, subscribing, all the rest of that jazz.